Hey, what's up, homies? Welcome back to the channel, Kelly Hood Media, right? Where we react to all types of social media content as it occurs on social media, right? And today we have another occurrence on social media, right? As you guys all know, this occurrence is coming out of Northern California with Northern artist Lazy Boy. Also, we got involved in this Lefty Gunplay from the city of Baldwin Park, right? SUV area, Los Angeles County. But before we go any further with this whole reaction, hey, make sure you guys go ahead, smash on that like button or smash on the dislike button, whatever suits you guys best. Make sure you guys drop a comment and make sure the most important part is that you smash on the notification bell so you can be notified, right? When I do a live stream, a video, anything to do with the channel. And if you do miss it, you could bust back around the block, like I always say, and you can rewatch it on your time, of course, because here, that's what it's about, the people. So with that being said, hey, make sure you drop that comment after this video, right? So as you, as you guys all know, Dizzler, uh, they did a cypher with, you know, we had the Southern artists and we had the Northern Cali, Cali artists, right? So as you all know, uh, Lefty Gunplay went on, did his cypher, right? But he wasn't allowed to drop names. He wasn't allowed to diss the Northern Kelly artists on the cypher, right? So allegedly they said um, Lefty Gunplay walked out of the building and he felt some kind of way, right? But somehow, some way they got him back to the building. He dropped his cypher. Was it the best? No, I think he could have been, did a lot, lot better. Maybe due to, you know, what he had planned already didn't work out. So, you know, maybe he just freestyling real quick, of course, right? But it didn't come out too well, right? So he wasn't allowed to take shots at the North. You know, they, they, they bleeped it out, right? They also bleeped out Lazy Boys too, right? Lazy Boys took shots at all the Southern artists. Bozo, Little Weirdo. Man, he went in on Chito Ranas. Like, he went in on, on, on them, right? And um, so what the problem is, is, is that there there's some podcasters out there saying that Lazy Boy did the South. All South Side. All Southern homies, right? <clears throat> Which we know is not true because he didn't specifically diss the double the you know he didn't diss the whole card right he dissed certain individuals and he dissed them by name and he dissed them by the way he felt about them right now i was just tripping out how we had you know these podcasters um dropping videos and saying that lazy boy dissed the whole south card and pretty much you know he's taking shots at everybody right now i myself went and listened to it I ain't gonna lie, man. The Lazy Boy track goes hard. You know, I myself, and you guys know I'm from Southern California, right? From the heart. But, like I always say, music is music and talent is talent. You can't hate on that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give credit where it's due. Uh, Rowdy Rax was also up on there. Rowdy Rax went hard. Lazy Boy did take some shots at Chito Ranas, Bozo, you know, Lefty Gunplay, you know. But you guys got to remember that this cypher was done three months ago. So three months ago, things were a lot, lot crazier. Like, things were very, very hot. Northerners were pulling up to Southern California. Allegedly, the homies were pulling up to Northern California. Hey, if it is that, it is that, right? But I just think Lazy Boy did go hard on the track. You can't lie, man. He did go hard. He's a good artist. He's a good rapper. He is from Northern California. He is a Norteño, but in this channel, I'm still gonna you see it as quality music. Art is art, right? Lefty Gunplay could have went a lot, could have done a lot better on the track, but of course, things happen, homie. But here's check this part out right here, though. I just think it's crazy how certain YouTubers um, they want to make that bag so bad that they would make that fake agenda that Lazy Boy dissed all the homies from the south yeah he took shots at cheeto he took shots at but you gotta remember these fools are artists entertainers you know they're making music you know they're rap battling music you know what i'm saying so 
you can't always believe what you hear on the internet because at the end of the day on the streets things are a lot lot different right now of course you're always gonna have the ones that feel there's some kind of way like f that side and then you're gonna have the ones like myself who have had encounters with north angels and who have been chased by north angels i've been to larry delano i've been in um you know Wasco, Bakersfield, Shafter. I know Bakersfield is not North Angel Town, but I've been in Shafter, Wasco, Delano, Corcoran. You know, I've been up there and I've been in some sticky, sticky, icky, icky situation. But, like I said, when you have an encounter with certain individuals, you start to have a respect and a mutual understanding that danger is danger wherever it lurks, homie. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, us podcasters, uh, need to do better uh, putting out the content homie you know titling it lazy boy this is the whole sell card when he only diss certain rappers and these rappers are pretty much just uh, out for the bag dog they're not really out there in the street putting it out like that dog and they're not really you know some of them are some of them are hey but like I said man alright so like I was gonna say a lot of times homie when um certain individuals get up on here and they talk a whole lot of mess and high power talk and you can't see their face and you don't know who they are nine times out of ten bro that's a red flag for me you know what i'm saying watch what you listen to watch who you listen to you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day homie like content is content right but when you say a northerner diss the whole southern card you're gonna get views, you're gonna get people like, what? They're gonna click on it, you know what I'm saying? I myself clicked on it, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm like, he didn't diss the whole card, he just dissed certain individuals and he did. He dropped names on those individuals. So I just think we gotta do better, homies, when it comes to creating content and really giving the people what they wanna know. But we gotta give the people what they wanna know, but we gotta give it to them right. We gotta give them the right information you know what i'm saying just because i'm from the south the southern california area doesn't mean that i'm gonna give you guys false information if if lazy boy went harder than than lefty gunplay from baldwin park california on the cypher hey i'm gonna admit it he did he went harder hey he's from northern california from north Daniel. it is what it is you know what i'm saying i ain't looking at it like that i'm looking at it more as a music artist and a talent you know like I said, you gotta remember, there's two individuals here that are going at it, right? Or there's a couple of them, but let's put Lefty. Is Lefty going viral for his, the way he looks, his tattoos and the way he acts and the controversy, or is he going viral because he's bar for bar? Now, now, Lazy Boy, is he going viral because he's dissing the South, or is he going viral because he has, you know, bar for bar? I want you guys to answer that for me down there in that comment section, man. Make sure you guys smash on the like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think, man. Who's going viral for what? Are they going viral because you know they got skill, they got bar for bar, or are they going viral because they're controversy, they're dissing the North on the internet, dissing the South? Let me know what you guys think. We out.